Hello everyone, I'm Chen Jinxu from the University of Bonn. I'm here today to present our paper, Temporal Entity Alignment Using Temporal Relational Attention. I will sequentially introduce this paper's research background, motivation, methodology, experiments, and give a summary at the last. A knowledge graph, aka KG, is a large-scale relational graph where knows entities, links and relations, a fact can be represented as a triple involving a subject entity, a relation, and an object entity. KG embedding maps entities and relations into vectors. These vectors can capture the semantic meanings of entities and relations. Entities which have similar semantics are supposed to have close vector representations. By doing this, KG embedding can perform fast inference over KGs. Two typical, two typical learning tasks over KGs are link, link prediction and entity alignment. Entity alignment is the task of linking entities with the same real-world identity from different KGs. Embedding-based entity alignment approaches can model entities and relations across multiple cages in a vector space. In addition to triples, embedding-based entity alignment approaches use a number of pre-aligned entity pairs as training data. In this figure, the dashed line between Europe and Oyohopa is a pre-aligned entity pair, also called the alignment seed. The optimization objective of an entity alignment model is to make a pair of pre-aligned entities have very similar vector representations. With a well-trained entity alignment model, we can measure the similarities between entity representations to find new entity pairs. Early embedding-based entity alignment models are based on embeddings learned from the trans-E model or its variants. Use trans E to model triples in both cages, and the alignment model transforms a cage's embedding space to another's. More recent studies introduce GNNs into the entity alignment task and show better performances due to their ability of modeling global information of graphs. GNNs can automatically learn triple information where entities neighborhoods and thus do not need knowledge models to measure the plausibilities of triples. The recent availability of temporal cages like SEWS, GDELT, Yago, and Wikidata has created the need for KGE approaches that can reason over time. In a temporal KG, time-aware facts are represented as quadruples in the form of ES, R, EO, T, where T denotes the time annotation. The existing time aware link prediction models show significant improve, improvements against static link prediction models since they consider time information, but they are not suitable for the entity alignment setting. Most existing embedding based Entity alignment approaches disregard time information in temporal cages, leaving much room for improvement. Taking this case as an example, given two entities, Bush Senior and Bush Junior, which exist in two temporal cages respectively. Static embedding based approaches are likely to ignore time information and wrongly align these two entities due to the homogeneity. Uh, of their neighborhood information. Thus, it is essential to propose a new GNN-based entity alignment model which is aware of time information. Another challenge is that the existing entity alignment approaches rely on a large number of alignment seeds or as supervision, which is very costly. To deal with time-aware entity alignments, a very recent work TGN encodes time information into entity representations with a time-aware graph self-attention mechanism and time embeddings. TGN uses time steps as attentive properties of links between entities and is more time efficient than most of the existing temporal GN models, uh, which, decom which decompose a temporal graph into a sequence of snapshots. 
However, the existing anti-development models, including TeamGN, are unable to perform inductive learning. That is to say, they cannot represent new emerging entities and time steps. And the standard linear transformation in GCNs can be further improved for entity alignment. It is also essential to improve the training efficiency of entity alignment models by using new loss functions. And the time embedding technique uh, might lead to the disappearance of physical characteristics of time data. In this work, we propose a new time-aware entity alignment model named TREA, uh, which uses different techniques to address all of these issues. Following GraphSage, TREA generates embeddings by sampling and uh, aggregating features from a node's local neighborhood. For a new emerging entity, we can aggregate embeddings of its neighboring entities, relations, and time steps to obtain its input feature. This module is named NAR. The ideal transformation operation in time-aware entity alignment should satisfy two key criteria. It can transform the same entity into different temporal or relational spaces, uh, and uh, when two entities in the same cages are transformed into a temporal or relational space, their norms and uh, relative stance should be retained. Thus, time-specific and relation-specific uh, orthogonal transformations are used in TREA instead of linear transformation in GCN. In the temporal relational attention mechanism, the attention weight of EJ to EI is, compu is computed from the embeddings of um, time steps and the relations between EJ and EI. We also drop the self-attention to, to enhance the inductive learning ability of our model. For model training, most existing entity alignment models use uh, random negative sampling and the margin rank loss. In this work, we use four negative sampling for faster convergence, and a log sum exp operation is used to automatically find hard negative samples. Uh, the whole loss function is named MML. We also use a sequential time regularizer to make time embeddings return sequence information and distance information between time steps. Specifically, we add a BIOS compo component between the neighboring time embeddings to promote that the difference between embeddings, embeddings of two adjacent time steps is much smaller than the difference uh, between embeddings of two distant time steps. Thus, the time embeddings can be roughly modeled by a linear function, and the embeddings of unobserved time steps can be estimated. We built three temporal datasets for evaluation. In the DICEWS datasets, both TKGs are subsets of the SEWS database. Yago Wiki 50K and Yago Wiki 20K are built from two large scale knowledge bases, Yago 3 and the Wikidata. We selected 15,000 high frequency Wikidata entities and linked them to uh, they are equivalent uh, Yago entities according to their QIDs and the mapping of Yago entities to Wikidata QIDs. In Yago Wiki 15K, all temporal, uh, all facts are temporal. By contrast, Yago Wiki 20K dataset is temporally hybrid, where there are about um, 20,000 entity pairs, and a part of facts are non-temporal. We compare TREA against TGN and several state-of-the-art static entity alignment models. TREA outperforms TGN and the other baselines are on all datasets. TREA achieves more significant improvement 
on Yago Wiki 15K datasets, then DSEWS datasets. Not worthy. Yago Wiki 15K datasets are extracted from different resources and are sparse uh, at entity level, which are closer to the real world application scenarios. The experimental results of the ablation study show that the effects of NAR and MML are more significant on Yago Wiki 15K datasets. NAR is important for making the input information of entities uh, as rich as possible when temporal cages are sparse at the entity level. MML can be more helpful to find hard negative samples. For each observed quadruples EAs or EOT in Yago Wiki 50K, there are on average 5.22 similar looking quadruples shaped like EAs or EO prime T. EO and EO prime can be regarded as hard negative samples of each other since they have similar neighborhood information. It can be seen that TREA was not only significantly superior to TGN and uh, an aesthetic baseline model TREA or REA in all seed sizes, but also had a more gradual slope curve. This demonstrates that TREA was less dependent on the number of alignment seeds compared to parameter-efficient translational entity alignment models like M-TRANS-E uh, and JPE. TREA uses additional parameters only for uh, reciprocal, uh, reciprocal relation embeddings, time embeddings, and uh, attention weight vectors. As shown in this figure, by using MML loss function, TREA has a better training efficiency than most existing entity alignment models. To validate the inductive learning ability of our model, we use an open world setting for entity alignment. We only use facts occurring before 2014 for training and the entities appearing before 2040 uh, for supervision. And the new entities and the time steps emerging during evaluation. We also modify REA and uh, TGN to enable them for inductive learning at the cost of some information loss. Under the open world setting, we obtain 1027 entity pairs involving unobserved entities called unobserved entity pairs. And the remaining 6,539 pairs are called observed entity pairs. The experimental results show that TREA outperforms REA and TGN under the open world setting, especially on unobserved entity pairs. In conclusion, we propose a novel temporal GN model TREA for time-aware entity alignment. TREA has the ability of inductive learning to uh, represent new emerging entities and time steps. TREA uses time and the relation-specific orthogonal transformations instead of linear transformation in GCN. Uh, in order to improve training effectiveness and efficiency, we adopt full negative sampling and uh, log sum exp operation. A sequential time regularizer is used to help time embeddings with retaining physical characteristics of time data. Experimental results on three temporal KG benchmarks show that TREA outperforms the existing entity alignment models on the both closed world setting and open world settings. 
Thank you very much for your attention, and hope you have a great time at the, the conference. Thank you.